Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll talk about another lessons, lesson learned from the painful decision that I took at my young age. I mentioned before the 1966 travel to Libya with my father, then separating myself from my uh, beloved uh, neighbor uh, and stopping marriage. And this is the third one, 1977, uh, when I decided to travel to Britain to pass the uh, licensing exam, medical exam, and to work there and to get the membership or the fellowship. In uh, 1976, when I was qualified, I had uh, uh, I, 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 I traveled to to UK and to do some training in one of the hospitals called Bronglice General Hospital in Aberystwyth in UK in in Wales in Wales in Wales. And I spent about three months, mostly like a holiday. Then in 1977, I finished my internship and I had another. Uh, invitation letter from the same hospital to go and do the training. Uh, so I went this time when I boarded the plane, the Egypt airplane from Cairo to Heathrow, from the Cairo airport to Heathrow airport. I felt that I'm traveling to this land and I'm not going to come back to Egypt. When I went to, with my father to Libya, I knew that I'm coming back, but this time I was so, during the whole journey. I was in this turmoil of emotional, being emotionally upset and crying and uh, nearly weeping in the airplane for the for actually the nearly the four hours journey. I landed there to register my name in the general council in uh, medical general council for the exam. Then I travelled from there to Aberystwyth by train, coach, <laughs> very slow train. Then I hired a flat, uh, not a flat, sorry, a, a room, a room which was actually at the time 25 pound a week, including breakfast and Sunday lunch, which was very cheap, uh, in 5 Alexandra Road, uh, Aberystwyth, opposite the train station for Mrs. Jenkins. I felt here that the pain of being lonely, the pain of not having a family or friends around you, the pain of studying, the pain of looking after yourself from A to Z, washing your clothes, cooking, cleaning, shopping, everything. Uh, so I have to deal with all of this and the pain of being failing and succeeding in the exam. And I failed my exam, alhamdulillah, four or five times, at least uh, till I got my license and started to work uh, at the end of 1978. A very painful decision like this has a manner and has a behavior. What is the manner and the behavior of the decision like this in a, in a country that you don't know anybody there? No friends, no relatives, no, 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 no. And you are under this pressure. Is to keep connecting yourself, lowering your status to be able to be seen by the people surrounding you, especially you are not from your culture, or from your religion, or from your background, or from your value background, or your actually uh, uh, faith background. To be connected with everybody, to, yani, uh, to decrease the pain of being lonely at home. So with your colleagues in the, in the hospitals, with your superior in the hospitals, with the landlady, she has to like you and to love you, to give you more food and, and, and all these sort of things. And this was actually a big test for me to try to improve my behavior and my manner in dealing with everybody, to try to decrease the agony of loneliness when I was living alone there and studying in my room. So for the travel, there's a manner and etiquette. For loneliness, there's a manner and etiquette. For studying and working with people, there's a manner and etiquette we should learn to deal with it, to enable ourselves to manage our life through these difficult passes that we are actually going through it. Alhamdulillah, and after four or five times, I succeeded actually in my exam and became a, a, a doctor uh, who can work properly 
in the hospital.